I'm here with a Bernie delegate from Iowa. What's your name? David Johnson. David Johnson. Now, are you here at a Bernie or bus rally? Are you Bernie or busting? Well, I probably will be after today. That's what I imagine. Why um, do you say after today? Well, today is the official. Uh, the oh, vote this is the call. is this the Dex de de Dems? How do you say it? Yeah, this is this is the roll call today, so that it'll be official. She'll have the nomination, and I'll be searching for a new candidate. So. And so, is there a, uh, an organized effort to support someone else than Hillary Clinton? Um, well, there are a lot of uh, delegates on my side. I don't want to name because I don't know if they want to go public, but they are certainly feeling that same way. And uh, I think that's one of the things that we're going to see. We'll probably see a big exit. What about, uh, but Bernie endorsed Hillary. Oh, you're not going to follow his lead? No, no. Um, I mean, I can't. I, I've got three children. I'm a veteran. I've seen blood. I've seen body bags. I can't look at my children in the face and vote for that after I've taught them everything about what's right and what's wrong. I mean, the stuff is just too obvious. And you're, you're a veteran? I'm a veteran of the Persian Gulf War. No kidding. And um, I actually got involved with Bernie back in 2014. I ran for State House and he helped my campaign. He uh, made a radio ad for me. And this was back when the Iowa Democratic Party wouldn't support my campaign because I wasn't taking corporate PAC money. So now you're a veteran. You have three kids. Uh, what do you say to people that you need to grow up? I think I have. I'm 51. I feel the age pains. And I think the only way change is going to happen is uh, when this younger society, 45 and younger, are empowered. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Look, revolution's not easy, nor is democracy. That's, that's just the way it is. So, but, but you're not, you don't think you're being selfish or white privileged? No, absolutely not. I mean, the whole white privilege thing just blows me away because all of the, the my fellow Bernie delegates had these uh, fundraising they're poor. These are working people that can't afford it. So to say that it's uh, white privilege is just complete BS. Okay, and you don't. So you don't think it's childish to not vote or support Hillary Rodham Clinton, even though it may lead to Trump being our president? No, I think I think that's I think that's really a false false narrative in some sense. I mean, you're you're assuming that there are only two choices, and as long as we continue to believe this, we just start the self fulfilling prophecy. It's ridiculous. It has to end. Hey, thanks for talking with us. Thanks for voting your conscience. Nice to meet you.